What's going on guys, Chu here bringing you a, another review on My Hero Academia and I absolutely enjoyed this episode though most of what was going on didn't seem that impactful it was quite the opposite this was one of the best setup episodes we've had in My Hero in my opinion in quite some time I definitely enjoyed this episode but if you enjoyed this video guys and if you already haven't Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out tremendously. I would appreciate the support to get to the wonderful goal that is 4K before the end of February. We didn't get it in January, but let's try to get it in February, guys. Help me out. Spread the videos. All that good jazz. Show me your love. Help out. And I will return the love that is a giveaway. But anyway, let's get to it. So, this episode starts off with seeing Deku having his awaited meeting with the previous one for all users and I actually really like how in this episode it was the perfect opportunity to explain a lot of things that needed that explaining and for another reason we actually see like all the other ones gathered for the first time we're seeing all of them uh, except for the the other two that were facing against the wall. I guess they're not ready to make their reveals quite yet, but we see what they look like. We know that they're there. They're all having this meeting, and they're explaining their side of things. And I, I like how we get the explanation of how this quirk really has become and what it has become. We see that, firstly, let's go ahead and break this down. Firstly, the fourth user is revealed. We see that his is to sense danger from a distance he actually tried to he was the one with the notes that were scribbled out he actually wanted to uh, use his ability as best as he could without having to always rely on the quirk however he ended up dying of old age and what age is that 40 now a lot like attack on titan we see how with those and spoilers for those who haven't watched it when you become a titan you only have a certain amount of time to live and with this we actually see how it's kind of like the same little comparison because we have where this fourth user he actually had a quirk of his own previously which was the one we know which was sensing danger he is having to like basically trying to race against time because his life is being shortened because of having multiple quirks and that explains the, 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 like the, the scarring on his face. Uh, unfortunately, he did not get to live that long. It's, it's a bit sad. So when people have multiple quirks, they do not get the chance to live very long. And other than the, in the, the fourth user, everyone else had passed it on before getting to that age, I imagine. Uh, dying or uh, fighting and whatnot. But we see that this is actually important information. We secondly see how all of these guys are asking this question, especially having Grandma, who actually asks, are you willing to kill Tomura? And his answer was the one they wanted to hear. Uh, in the end, we see how Deku realizes that this power is coming down to him. You know, it's, it's his choice, and he chooses to save Shigaraki if he can um, he doesn't want to kill anyone and he knows that from what he could tell from what he could feel he knows that this boy is in danger that they, deep down that's all Shigaraki is a boy who's still crying out and so he does want to save him so I love how they all tested him and we see this moment where you know his resolve is basically solidified and I love that I absolutely love seeing him being in this kind of state um meanwhile though in the real world we see how all might he actually um talks to both hawks and genus about what he knows and we have both genus endeavor and uh hawks all talking in front of the crowd we see the it is definitely high tensions one reporter started blaming him specifically dami's watching the news and so it, it's very, very difficult to see all this happening. And one thing that I forgot to mention during this meeting, we reveal that uh, 
All Might was quirkless, which is why he was able to use uh, All for One as long as he had. And so that was great. I mean, I'd love to know that he wasn't going to die yet, but uh, definitely inf good information. However, the ending of this episode is to me the best part of this because we actually see how the following day uh, we have everyone in the dorm room and the reactions. I thought they were great. We see that they react with, you know, Alden Shock having this letter. And the letter states that Deku reveals everything. He reveals that his power came from All Might and that he can't hide this anymore. However, he doesn't want any of them to be in danger. And that's why he has to leave and decides to leave UA High, which has always been his dream. But because of the safety of his friends, he makes this tough decision and becomes a vigilante. And I absolutely love it. I am ready for this. I'm absolutely loving it. Seeing how Deku is now in this role, he knows that in order to protect his friends, he's got to be away from them. He knows that he's being sought out by... All for one and Jigaraki. So it's only a matter of time. And I love it. I absolutely love this episode. Um, the, the the new arc is going to be starting uh, next week. Uh, next episode. So I'm looking forward to that very, very much. But guys, that is it for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember guys, we are trying to get to the goal of 4,000 before the end of this month. There's still time, plenty of it. Show the love, guys. It's February. Show the love. But thank you so much for watching. And as always, though, and most importantly of all, take care of yourselves, guys. And, and I will catch you all later.